Alrighty. Hello, I am Mistech, and we are playing Federation Star Trek Online. Alright. So, um, let's uh, log in here. Now, I, I usually do back-to-back, -back, so it's like KDF and then Federation, so... KDF is at level 10, and uh, we are only at level 6. Kind of hoping we'd get to level 10 on this guy. But, um, well, it's a little slower. So if you do watch the KDF and then the, the Federation videos back-to-back, -back, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that is is repeated. But uh, I'll try to repeat it again. <laughs> Alrighty, so... I've My favorite spot. There is a Bolian. Shut up, Quinn. We'll get to you in a minute. Uh, so favorite spot on Space Talk. Cool. Uh, there is an event going on right now. It is the Red Alert event. It doesn't count towards our campaign progress. Um, and we're not actually able to do it because we are too low level and it requires level 50. Um, the rewards are really nice, though, so we'll cover those again. Experimental ship upgrade. Uh, this is probably more useful on the Federation side than it's going to be on the Klingon side. Um, just because, as far as a science vessel goes, Federation has more science vessels. Um, I wouldn't say the better ones, but they're like slightly different. Um... These are really good. You kind of want to save these for like a tier 6 ship, or if you ever get into like a tier 6 fleet ship or something like that, um, you'll probably want to save these because they do add extra extra slots. And they are fairly rare, uh, especially if you don't spend any money on the game. Uh, we'll look at those in a second, but uh, events is pretty much where you're going to get your, your stuff. I cannot stress that enough. Play the events. They give you free things if you're not going to spend money on the game. If you're going to spend money, it's not really as big a deal. Uh, this ultimate tech upgrade, these are amazing. So you want to collect these as often as possible. Uh, you don't always get them from events, and, but you can get them through you know, paying money. Uh, what these do is they take an, a piece of equipment, an item, and they max it out completely. Uh, at max level, you'll get like a Mark 12 drops. Uh, the highest level is Mark 15. I think that's what XV is. Pretty sure it's Mark 15. Um, if not, no, it's Mark 15. Yeah, because there's no eyes in there. I'm uh, slow. It is the middle of the night. That's fine. <laughs> it's like the only time I can record. Um, and then you also have quality, like you know, your your, your white, green, purple, uh, better purple. And then legendary is like orange. Uh, epic gold. It's gold. That's what it is. Gold. <laughs> um, and there are pieces of equipment that you can get from like an episode where you might want to max that out. Uh, you don't get a whole lot of these. I would probably say you get maybe a, one every few months, two, three a year tops. Uh, anniversary, they usually give one out. Um, some events like this, they'll give them out. Uh, and they're worth setting aside. And then don't just use them on any piece of gear. You'll want to use them on something that's going to be beneficial to you. Um, you can use other things to upgrade. This just like picks one thing and, and maxes it out. Uh, specialization point we don't really care about too much. Um, I mean, when you're, when you're level 65, you will continue to earn experience points and you will... Like, every time you get a level, you get a specialization point. Uh, I did find out in researching that if you do get every single uh, specialization point for every single specialization, and you cannot spend them on anything else, you um, you get a lithium. So, they're not a complete waste. But, uh, I mean, given the choice, I think in the, one of the other videos I mentioned, between a specialization point or a tech upgrade, I'll take the tech upgrade every day. All right, uh, there are 10 days left on the event, and if my math is correct, uh, this event ends in about nine days. So it is not going to be possible for us to finish this without spending any money. 
So we are not going to worry about it. And I heard, just heard a little bit of static in my headset. I do have a wireless headset. Um, I have another wired headset on the way. Uh, I, I bought one that didn't quite work out, so we're hoping the next one works out better. Um, I don't know if it's feedback from all the computers in my room or my giant monitor that's beautiful and gorgeous, uh, but takes up a giant wall. <laughs> um, something... I think is interfering with the wireless signal. So I hear a little bit of static from time to time where I didn't hear it previously, and I think that translates into the, the video as well. So I apologize for that. Um, the new headset just did not work out, which sucks. But, you know, I, I, I work with what I got. <laughs> um, oh, I totally sidetracked myself. Uh, it'll come back eventually. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. So um, one of the things I think I'm going to do here is uh, I found a way to sort of get this, because leveling these characters is, is going really slow. I mean, it's been probably a month now, and we're still level 6. Uh, so it's going to take us three months to get to level 50, probably. <laughs> Uh, so my workaround is I am going to probably do a Dominion character run and make a Gem Hadar. Um, that is like seven or eight hours of game time. Uh, Gem Hadar start at level 60, so we'll be above the level 50 cap. And I think after the first like hour, hour and a half of just progress, you get to select a side, so we'll probably go Federation. But... Um, even if we pick the side, I found uh, in my test run that we still can't do the red alerts. <laughs> uh, you have to finish the Gem Hadar tutorial, which is seven episodes or seven missions, and you're looking at about an hour apiece, so you're looking at you know, seven to eight hours of playtime. Um, and we are not going to get all of that in. I would have to take a day off of work and... I am not going to do that. <laughs> uh, I have too many things that need to be paid for, so work is good. Um, one of the things we are going to do is, uh, if I get that new headset and that works out, which we'll do some testing on that as well, uh, I do have another computer to put together. Uh, hopefully those new parts will work. Um, I might be able to do recording. You know, that's not... 2.44 in the morning. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I gotta find like a better recording space so I can record earlier. Um, maybe less rambling, but probably not. I'll probably still ramble. I, I talk a lot. <laughs> now that I'm used to talking in a video, I never shut up. Awesome. Okay. Uh, but that's that. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a Romulan arc as well. Just kind of free play everything, man. Let's... Uh, play through and hopefully it's entertaining so uh, so we're going to miss this event uh, the buyout for this isn't too bad it's $15 you know you play if we had 9 days it probably cost us $2 but the goal is no money might be able to do like a zen transfer but uh, as nice as that ultimate tech upgrade is the rest of it we can kind of do without for now Okay, so that's good to go. Quick check on our stuff real quick. We have nothing. <laughs> uh, Federation, I do like guns on these. So on the, on the Klingon account, like the traits that some of those have, they are like melee traits. So a melee weapon on a bridge officer uh, is pretty good. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, we didn't have any ground combat on that last mission. Huh. Alright, well. Interesting. Uh, so, like, the Vulcan is the closest we're going to get to an actual melee character. So, I guess I could probably... Yeah. That'll work. Let's give that to Tavral. So she can all go all Rage Vulcan. There you go. We can kind of see what that what that does because I don't I don't know what a melee weapon does on a bridge officer. I don't think I've ever given one 
to a bridge officer before. Hmm. Well, mm. well melee hold. I'm gonna position. Bonus hit points. Physical damage. I didn't realize Colas had some stuff too. He's got resistances. Ooh. ooh. He's got better. Okay, change of plans. Let's give the sword to Coles. He's tactical anyway. And then to Varel can have his rifle. I don't really want to the Varel in melee combat anyway, because she is our healer. <laughs> so she needs to not charge up and die. <laughs> okay, oh, he's even got melee abilities. Look at that. Yeah, yeah he's better with the sword. Okay. Good there. No new fancy special equipment. And we're same old, same old. Okay. Let's see what we got for episodes. Uh, Klingon War. You, oh, yeah. Stranded in space. This will be nice. Okay. I've received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth's space dock. It may need assistance. I really thought he was going to talk more. Okay. That was interesting. So this is Zura. Personal com code. This is going to be nice and handy. Um, basically, it's a merchant in space. So we can sell if we need to. And then, oh, cool. We'll get some armor, shields. Yeah, this will be worth doing. All right, now we have the option to skip Transwarp. I'm going to hail him again. If we want to hear him talk, we'd really like the sound of Quinn's voice, but I don't think anybody does. <laughs> it's not the worst, but yeah. Uh, so this little icon right here will Transwarp us. So all we don't... Uh... Yeah, we're going to do that first. So we're going to actually show... Give the KDF video, did it? We're going to show it here as well. So we're going to beam out to our ship outside of space dock. And then we're going to display local space versus sector space. So, local space, Klingon ship. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, buddy. I like the neon glow. So, this is the uh, Vengeance, I believe. Do yeah, Kelvin Intel Dreadnought Cruiser. This is from uh, one of the Star Trek movies. It's that big ship that just like blew everything up. Yeah, uh, expensive ship, very nice. One of the dream ships for pretty much anything. Cool. Uh, so this is local space. There's Earth. I mean, it's pretty. Definitely pretty. And you can fly around here. There's just not really anything to do. Space dock. And then um, this button right here. This is our depart system will take us to sector space. Kind of an interesting thing with Star Trek Online. You have like two different space levels. Uh, anytime you do combat or go to a planet or whatever, it's going to be in like that local space area. So... Vanguard carrier. It's all pretty. Alrighty. So. Sector space. You see stars. You see planets. Let's open our map up here. So here's the map of the galaxy. And you'll see we are in Federation space. You've got Cardassians, Terran Empire, Breen. Two flavors of Romulan with some Borg mixed in for fun. Uh, Klingon Defense Force. So we got, uh, what is this, a Beta Quadrant, Alpha Quadrant, Gamma Quadrant is all Dominion, and uh, Delta Quadrant is like this little line here, and there's 
I think that's a flavor of Borg, like liberated Borg, maybe Vodwar, I'm not sure. Uh, and then you have Borg up here as well. So these purple connecty lines are, are from here. the event video, like the side video that I did. Uh, that was a little bit. Would... Jesus 9. But this is the galaxy. So this is everywhere you can go. And if you're on this area map, we can, let's say, where are we at? We are here. So let's go to Andoria, because I like Andorians. Plot a course, hit OK, and we start flying. And you can see on the map, but to go from like here to here would take us forever. So flying through you see all the planets and when you get close to a system it'll give you the option to enter the system we're almost there beautiful beautiful Andoria and of course I don't think we can go into Andoria <laughs> nope we'll just fly through the planet oh yeah we can cool so you could click on this and enter the Andoria system and it zones us into the local, like, planetary space or whatever. Pretty little ice ball. Look at that. Aww. Um, now that's kind of impractical. Uh, and I got friends who've been playing forever that are like, uh, we, well, this is the way you had to travel before. It took forever. Now they introduce a little transwarp button. So you click on that, transwarp, and it just teleports us to where we need to go very handy um, and they do have a, a little bit of a trick with those to any ships in range this is data brought of the trans yeah, we're gonna cut her off because she's gonna say that all stuff all over again um, so you have a transwarp list like we can go to the soul system right now just transwarp but anytime you transwarp you've got a 15 minute cooldown so to kind of get around that a little bit there are missions and episodes that you can pick up it'll sit in here and you'll be able to transform so say like uh, we went to pick up pick up a D space mine nine mission um, it's gonna say let's go to D space nine so you hit the little transform button you go to D space nine the little mission box like this will pop up and we just skip it let's go to D space nine do our shopping uh, drink play Dabo whatever uh, and then when we're done uh, there is a mission to take us to Soul Sector, so we just click the transwarp and we go to Soul, and don't do the mission. <laughs> it's, it takes up space in your sidebar, but it's kind of handy when you are, you know, you're like, oh, I forgot, I need to go to Earth, and then you go to Earth, and then you're like, oh wait, I need to go back to Deep Space Nine, so you go back to Deep Space Nine, and you could transwarp there, but you got that 15 minute cooldown. So you gotta wait, go make a sandwich, you know, whatever. Or you can just keep a mission in your side list, click the button, and off you go. It, it doesn't do anything with that. And uh, I'll put the list together once we're probably max level, because it's we don't really have a whole lot to do right now. Um, we're just kind of doing episodes, and we're not flying all over the galaxy just yet. All right, so uh, with that said, we have like no space abilities. Okay. Wow. Really? Wow. We're going to use these. Distracted by a non ship squirrel this time. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, we're good. We, just, we just have nothing. <laughs> this is going to be great. Off we go. Stranded in space. To any ships in range, this is data brought of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured, taking heavy fire, dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. 
and oh, that's cool. Pretty little cutscene thing going on. <laughs> the Ryan's just show up and blow off some bales. Ryan ships are kind of. I guess they're kind of cool looking. Alrighty, let's go engage and see if we can blow them up. We are not going to scan for hydrazine gas. Don't really do a lot with harvesting. Um, if, you, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, uh, I get a lot of those things from doing other things. So. Actually, I don't remember if I showed that. So we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and scan this after all, once these guys are dead. These are dying way faster than I was expecting to. Okay, so there's your cloud. And we'll hit scan. Really simple. Get this little wavelength mini game thing. You can use your keyboard, match it up, and we have five hydrogen gas. Pretty simple. Um, initially, it took me a little getting used to, and it's better than a lot of other like gathering options in other games I played. It's more interactive. Wow, that guy just blew up. Oh no, he's out of range. <laughs> Stop hiding behind the asteroid. I need to kill you. There we go. We're going to go get those Verderon particles. I'm going to show you something with this one as well. I'm going to fly over there while we're shooting the ship. He's got the two phasers still. Oh, there's another one up there. Ah. Loop around, blow him up. All right, and then we're gonna take a little bit of time here. I always forget to start my timer, so. Oops. <laughs> so what I want to show this is uh, scan, and then we're just going to hit escape, and we get three. So you still get, it's like you don't even need to do the scanning thing, or play the game, and you just get free components. So, pretty sure that's the same regardless of whether you uh, scanned it or not, but... Just a little something to know. Okay, going to the transporter room. And it's allergy season, so I might have a little bit of sniffles going on. Just sorry. Life, I am a person. Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but. Our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. Alright, and hopefully this static is away. I have to transfer over here right well. Getting radiation inch interference. <laughs> All right, we are on their ship. Multiple life signs. Plasma leaks. Those are not plasma leaks. This is one of the older older missions, so There's something I didn't can do the side guard ours. Oh yeah, it's this one. Okay. Um so there are little accolade things like 
We're silent, so we need to heal crewmen. So we're gonna heal. And blah blah blah. Notice how it gave us no credit. Still no credit. This has been bugged out for the three years that I've been playing. Um, as a science officer, this just like you don't get any credit for doing this. It's been three years for me. It's been longer for others. And it has not been fixed. So. I don't know what to even do with that, you know. Plane. But it won't do anything. Um, maybe this mission should be redone. Uh, but basically you just cannot get this as a science character. Uh, there's a tactical and an engineering version and those work, but for some reason the science one does not. Oops, wrong button. Cola is just kind of running up, killing everybody. Alright, that's fine. You go, go, murder machine. Oh, personal shield mark too. We are going to give that to Cola since he's running up into danger. Um, there's a little extra protection there, maybe. So there's your plasma stuff. If you run in there, you're going to take damage. I mean, maybe you'll die. I don't know. We're not going to run in there. Don't do it. Or or go ahead and do it and see what happens. But pretty sure we're going to die. Oh, hey, there's enemies. I really wish I could see nameplates above their head. I mean, I guess it does add a more immersive experience, but... Yeah. Apply treatment and not get credit, but we might as well go through the motions anyway, just because. Just because. Free container of stuff that we can sell. Free scanny stuff. No, just gonna clear it. We had four duranium. Good enough for me. The minigame is fun, uh, at first, like it's, it's just, uh, more interesting, and then you do it like 4,000 times, and then you're just kind of done. <laughs> yep, I'm good with, uh, you want to give me two? That's fine, I'll take two. We're good. And more... Oh, enemies again! You can, like, blend right into the bulkheads. I remember the first time I played through this, it was, like, painful. And that would be three of three. And I have tried, like, every imaginable thing I could possibly think of and do. And I still have not gotten anything for that. It's just broken. We hid an Orion ambush on our way to K-7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orions boarded the ship. Oh, no. I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. Alright, we'll help. Let's follow the glowy thing. This is the engineering one. If you're an engineer, you'd get credit for this little side thing. Yeah, engineering training is required to complete this. Um, oh, hey. A random tritanium rock just sitting here in a container. Let us uh, harvest some of that stuff. For whatever reason. Ooh, Klingons. Static Klingons. <laughs> uh, so right here is your tactical. 
Um, if you're a tactical officer, you can click on this. I think it like kills them, like floods the the corridor or something. So you'll get a little extra special credits. We don't get that, so it's killy time. It is no surprise that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a freighter. Do do do. But their call for assistance I don't even know what that has given us a chance for glorious combat. Dogs. See, Colas is already up there. Just, yeah, that's not too bad. He's just charging up, killing everybody. Root beer. Klingon. Yeah, we have Klingons. Let's see. Can we hit fix you now? Maybe? Maybe? No. You're still gonna die. Sorry. I tried. I always find it weird the captain has no audio at all. Although they did that little graphics update thing that <laughs> I love this one in the back is like, well, let's go already. Uh, <laughs> so there's a um... I think there was a, I remember, a graphics update somewhere, and a lot of times they look like they're just kind of standing there looking all over the place, like they're, they're, there's something there or something. Um, they do look prettier, but... Yeah. It's definitely a lot better than it was. Um, and even I, like, I mean, I've only been playing for like three years, so uh, I remember a few things and then uh, forget the rest because I'm old and I ramble. It's middle of the night. <laughs> and it's been a while on some of these. Federation 1, I'm a little more familiar with because I did just run through uh, Federation Science Captain on my pay to play account. Although that was like in fast forward mode. Oh, look, we can see off to the side. And we're in space. Good for you, Starfleet. We are taking... Oops. Sorry, buddy. I cut you off. There's more harvesting gas things over there. Corpse out. Torpedo, you... Set phasers, too. It's a good day to die. <laughs> oh, more ships. A uh, scan, maybe. Will it let us? Nope. So you, we can do the scan, but then the uh, when it shoots us and we take damage, it gets interrupted. So you can't really scan in combat. Let's do that sideways thing. Fix those shields, maybe. The big guy. Ah. So you got Hall Heal, and then like one of the few non healed heals. This is a, a heal over time. Oh. Keep that into play. It's dead. Fine. As I hit my evasive maneuvers, let's do our scan. When they blow up like that, you want to get away from them because uh, they will do damage. Alrighty, where's this freighter? Let's rescue the captain. Tempting to get a transporter lock on Captain Brot, sir. Boosting containment. It's kind of a cool ship design. Always reminds me of the uh, like Suleban cell ships from. Enterprise. Uh, 
All right, and we are out. Well done. You saved So if you don't want to wait for this, you can just click on this little portrait here. But I'll go to our experience points, lithium, personal comms. Congratulations. Thanks. We are now level seven. So if we use this. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation Science Station. No. Uh, so to use this, it's on your bar. Click on it. And there we go. The Azura 2. It's like they replaced the ship. And we can do a talk to you. And uh, yeah, we can buy stuff, sell stuff. We got mail, bank, exchange. Really handy. Uh, I think it's got, what's it, two hour cooldown. So that's not too terrible. Uh, let's get some ship equipment and stuff on here. So we are going to take that Mark II bodysuit. And uh, we'll give that to Coles because he's now our sword master. Do, okay, ship stuff. Better shields. There are different flavors of shields, but right now we'll take what we can get. Uh, is it a better warp core, maybe? So, yeah, okay. So it basically gives us the same thing, but with extra shields. Uh, and then you can double click, and it'll just auto equip it for you. Um, sometimes you can click and drag, it's nice. Uh, I don't like to double click usually because. I accidentally do that too often, and then I go into battle, and I've got like a Mark II warp core, and it's like, wait, what? Why? <laughs> um, I usually just click here and, and select from my list. So that also gives me like, I click on deflectors, and I see I have no deflectors. Or, wait, what was that? Impulse engine. <laughs> Not deflector. They look like deflectors to me sometimes. When I click on a deflector, I got nothing. Uh, same thing with weapons. Still got you know, no upgrades there. Engineering console. Science console. Oh, we got a Mark II. Nope, we'll want the, uh, the shield regen. Tactical, we're good to go there too. So yeah, we're, we're pretty much... We're good. Ah, these things. Let's cover these. Uh, so when you take damage... Critical components. Yeah, plan here to fix my organizational um when you play and i've had one of my videos i said when you play like elite uh tfos okay we can't even go in there yet <laughs> um like a little silver chevron where you can get a like gold here there we go silvers are oh we can do these well that's just handy no wonder why we couldn't see those before I'm pretty sure that's that's a setting, like uh, so. It's some some settings are stored locally, so it'll be shared between all your accounts. Um, so that must have been because of that. Well, that was. It, it's like every video, something makes a fool of me, so I'm just gonna be the fool. It's a pity the fool, but I don't need pity. I have enough. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you have regulars, and most people will do regular. Um, they're, they're easy, and then that's all we're going to do for now. Uh, once you get to 65, you'll have an advanced queue. Um, so you get rewards, and when you add the advanced, you'll get, like, these These are for reputation. Um, you'll get, like, another special, so there's, like, a special reputation currency, and you'll get those. And then there's elites, so it's, it goes regular, then, is it regular? I think it's regular. Normal. And we can't even switch it. Um, and then you'll have advanced, which is the two chevrons, and then you'll have an elite, which is like three, and they're red. Um, elites are can be rough, <laughs> and I believe you get extra extra fancy stuff from doing an elite. Um, normally, I will stick with advanced, 
uh, and that's pretty much it. But that's a little sidebar on that. Um, one more thing I wanted to point out is, since we just got level 7, uh, up here in the upper left where it shows your rank, uh, you can just click on this, and it will give you a little window and tells you what you get at every level. So this is what we got at level 7. So we have our sensor scan, which is down here. You know, I like that in this upper corner. And this will do a debuff. Um, if we were tactical, we'd get attack pattern alpha. And if we were engineering, we'd get rotate shields. So really kind of handy there. Um, and then uh, next level, we are going to get a bridge officer, which is just going to be a random free bridge officer. Level 9 is nothing. And level 10 is where we're going to get our new ship. So the goal is kind of to get to level 10 right now. Um, yeah, that's coming up on 40 minutes, I think. So, well, we are going to sell this off real quick. I did cover this. Like, I get a lot of people or friends who will put their stuff down here. Um, and I don't remember which video I covered it in because they all kind of blend together. Uh, I like to keep, like, a organized row from the top down. Um, items do come in from the top, so you can kind of... Like, it doesn't always work, but when I do the, the selling, I just come in here and I just scroll to the bottom. And this lets me just freely click, click. Um, you'll see at the top, well, if we had any, there would be R&D materials in here. Uh, like these you can't sell, apparently, but um, there'll be things like upgrades and stuff like that that I just, you can right-click and do protect mode. See, do we have that? Uh, yeah, change protected status to on. Boom. And now we can't accidentally delete this. Um, oops, there we go. Yeah, it is protection on. And you could do that with just about anything uh, that you don't want to sell. Um, and I'll do that sometimes, so. Uh, but yeah, so I'll usually keep my stuff up here, and then I come into the bottom, and I can just, I don't need this, click, 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 root beer, it's good, but we don't use it, uh, and then we're going to sell this, this, maybe, if it helps if I hit the button, <laughs> uh, I don't need that, and we're good there. All right, so these things, when you do get injured, uh, these are what you, you'd use for repairs. So uh, I got sidetracked there, sorry. <laughs> uh, you'll come in here, and you'll click on the ship, and there'll be like a repair or damage thing somewhere around the bottom. And it'll tell you, like, oh, you need a critical repair component to repair that. And you just click on it, and you're good to go. You can also go to Space Dock, and there's a repair vendor there. Uh, I think it's off to the right of where you get your ships. And then you have um, Regenerators which are for when you're on the ground and you do a ground and advance and take damage. Sometimes you'll take a critical hit or whatever, and you'll use those to keep, to heal yourself. Or you can go to space dock and there's a hospital, like a med bay there that you can use. So I have like a little weird organization system on how I do this. Um, this is usually my personal comms and I'll have a couple, when I get the uh, Nimbus ship, it'll be in here and that kind of stuff. Okay, so there's that. Let's get our skills done. We are going to go more more weapons. Maybe. There we go. Okay. All right. And that was that mission. We don't have it. Like all these episodes, we're going to have to either skip through or play through. And we are going to play through. Uh, so I don't have anything on the side just yet, so we are going to do this transwarp to Soul Sector. Because I like to log off on the space dock. I know it's a little bit time consuming, but this is just kind of what I like to do and how I, how I roll. Although... It has been getting like longer and longer load times on Earth space dock space. <laughs> and I'll usually do like uh, my selling and that kind of stuff here 
that's not a huge deal. It's just decide where you want to go as far as like what you want for a base of operations. Purple stick of death. Oh wait, no. That's the purple stick of doom. <laughs> there's two. This is like an there's a the Herald anti proton beam with blades on both sides. Uh, and this is like a lesser version that you can buy from the exchange instead of using low buy. Uh, so we might look into getting one of those. We'll see. Um, refine our dilithium for the day. And then uh, go to my little favorite spot here. And uh, camp for the night. Been up far too longer. Starting to get a little tired. Far too long, not longer. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you like the videos, uh, like, share, subscribe, help us out, tell everybody. The more the merrier. Um. Thanks for watching. Hope that was fun. And uh, you have a good night or day or wherever it is.